When I was 21, I was lucky enough to spend a summer at CERN. So this is back in 2007 when the Large Hadron Collider was being built. And it was a really exciting time because this, you know, this huge project that had been planned for two decades was almost complete. And at the time I got to go and visit the experimental sites where you have these like huge slabs of detector that are, you know, five stories high stacked up ready to go underground into the experiment and there was a real palpable atmosphere of excitement at CERN at the time and so I, after that experience I was like right this is definitely what I want to spend my time doing. Uh, after that experience I, I signed up to do a PhD in particle physics I ended up working on a different experiment actually called LHCB which is one of the four big detectors at the Large Hadron Collider and what we do at LHCB is we study uh, exotic particles called beauty quarks, which are kind of like heavy versions of the quarks that make up the atoms in our bodies. And by studying these very carefully, we can get indirect hints to the existence of new forces, new fundamental particles that we haven't seen before. Particle physics is blue skies fundamental research. So we don't do it because we're trying to solve some problem with the world, we just want to understand what are the basic ingredients of our universe? What are the laws that you know, bind particles together inside atoms? How did things begin in the earliest time of the universe? So it's really curiosity-driven research. That doesn't mean it doesn't have practical impacts. So you know, when you build these massive machines, you often end up with spin-off technologies that could have you know, really profound impacts. One very good example of this is the magnets used to build these big colliders developed, you have to get very strong magnetic fields that then was then applied in making MRI machines in hospitals, for example, or in new cancer therapy machines. Um, the World Wide Web was invented at CERN by Tim Berners-Lee in the 1990s as a way for physicists to share information across a computer network, and that was given away to the world for free. And the web on its own has paid for particle physics research, you know, many, many times over. So you have these spin-off technologies. You also have the far distant prospect that the knowledge you discover may have some application, but that's much harder to foresee. Thank you.